How's it going today, guys? Hope everyone's enjoying their Memorial Day weekend in 2020. Uh, if you're in lockdown, hopefully you enjoy a nice video on your couch. If you're not in lockdown, hopefully you're enjoying a video out in wherever you're allowed to be. Unlike here in good old Michigan, we aren't allowed to go anywhere, and it was just extended until June 12th. Amazing. So, in the meantime, I have this holster review for you guys. Bravo Concealment, nothing new. They've been around uh, as whenever I got my first Glock 19 several years back. This is one of the first holsters I got. So, they've been around for a good chunk of time. This is going to be their new, well, now, it's their normal one, but their newer 3.0 torsion. No, this does not come with it. No, this does not come with it. <laughs> um, I actually just got it today and I've already done a few fun bits to it. But anyways, this is their 3.0 torsion. As you can see, it's got that nice little torque effect going on there. It makes it that torsion. It comes with two clips, one here and one here. I've already taken that off. I've already slapped on <laughs> Deadpool sticker, you know, I got to make it my own. Um, one thing that does not even get offered on Bravo Consumer's website are wings. I'm going to go into this a little bit later, but a quick touch up on it. I am six foot, six foot one on a good day, and I weigh less than 160 pounds. So for you skinny people, guys, girls, doesn't matter. These help. Bravo Concealment, this is to you. I'm not knocking the torsion technology. It works, it does what it's supposed to. But some of us need a little bit of extra oomph. So just throwing that out there. Um, not everybody needs a, a, a wing, claw, whatever you want to call it. Not everybody needs one. Some people are a little bit huskier than others, and that's all right. Some people don't carry appendix. I carry appendix. So... It's, you know, user preference, but I think it'd be a little bit better if they offered it on their website for at least like five bucks or something. Um, going back to the holster itself, this is their, like I said, there's their 3.0. It's injection molded now. Um, I think it's more of like a polymer rather than a Kydex. And I will say this is one thing that I like but don't like. I like the injection mold because it's tight. It's very form fitting. Like you, know, you can see the, the gun right there. Um, where some companies that use Kydex have like a vacuum seal or like a hard press with foam. And you don't get that, those hard lines. I kind of like this. But the negative to that, it sounds like plastic. Granted, Kydex is, you know, it's a form of plastic, whatever. But uh, out of all my Kydex holsters, it's never sounded like this. This sounds like those plastic toy guns where if they dropped on the pavement from a foot, they just shatter. Now, I'm not saying that the quality is bad. I'm just saying from an audio perspective, that's how it sounds. All right, let me throw this in there for you. And just to show, nothing in there. In there this is an apartment so yes all my guns are safety checked this is the Glock 48 same dimensions as the Glock 19 except single stack so a bit slimmer I will be getting the uh, s15 from shield arms at some point when they get back in stock Now, right here to draw some attention to this, this slot right here, focus. This slot right here had a retention screw in it. As you can see, that retention screw is not there. Why? I don't need it. The retention on this alone is fine because you have all of these rivets right here, the rivets and screws right here. As you can see, there's no splitting of any kind. There's an opening right there. There's no splitting anywhere. So I'll put it in. 
and I'm feeling resistance right at this point. Hear that? That's a loud audible click. Very loud, even compared to some other Kydex holsters. That is a very, very loud audible click. And once it's clicked in, I'm not gonna hold it on the side because I've seen some people where they'll do the shake test and they're gripping it like this. Be like, oh, see guys, it's not falling out. I wonder why, because you're grabbing it. So I'm gonna kind of like lightly hang on to it on its edges. There we go. So that took a bit. That retention screw for me is not needed because it's not, it's not that it's a tight fit. It's just that wherever the retention part is, I think it's on the trigger guard here. I'm not 100% sure where it's exactly at, but wherever it's at, it hangs on. So I don't need more retention than that because when I want it out, I want it out. Plus you also have to think when your belt goes through here and it's pressing in between your body and your belt, that's also gonna cause more uh, retention. So something to think about there. All right, so <clears throat> if you wanna know more, uh, you can go to their, their website, bravoconcealment.com. Uh, right now they do have them for $42.49. At least that's what they're being advertised as. Now, that being said, I did order mine off of Amazon for $37.09. So $37.09 versus $42.49. Amazon free shipping. It was registered on Amazon to be here, uh, let's see, today is Saturday, so it was supposed to be here Tuesday, next Tuesday because of Memorial Day. It's here. <laughs> so I would Definitely look into the Amazon route, possibly, unless you were wanting something specific through Bravo Concealment themselves. Uh, when it came here, it did not have an Amazon. Uh, I can't talk. It did not have an Amazon package. It had the standard Bravo Concealment address. So, how they do that, I'm not exactly sure. I don't do or, uh, ordering a whole lot that goes through one company and then to another. So, not seeing the Amazon package kind of threw me off, but. It is what it is, it was cheaper, and it got here fast. So that's all that matters to me. All right, so I'm gonna cut real quick and switch to a different view so that you can actually see what it's like on. All right, so as I was saying, I'm six foot, six one on a good day, right? I weigh less than 160 pounds. I haven't weighed myself in a while, but I've never broke 160. Um, I'm almost 30, you know, give a few days, whatever. Um, never broke 160 pounds. Not that I don't try, but just metabolism, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, uh, I guess just to point out like what's exactly going on here. This is a medium nine line shirt that I've had for a few years now. It's been washed, shrunk, all of that. Um, nine times out of 10, my regular clothing, small to medium, depending on what it is. Each brand is different to the other brands, so, you know, I gotta work around what I can get, right? Jeans, these are 30, 31-34s from 5'11". They're the only pants that I can find that I find both comfortable and in sizes that I can actually wear appropriately because I can't just go to Walmart because they either have 32, 32, or 30 something that just doesn't fit. So, just to give you a little bit of perspective of what's going on here, right? And Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses inside because you, I'm, uh, for light purposes, I am facing my slider window. Um, <clears throat> anyways, like I said, holster, I carry appendix. So, I'm not trying to puff up my chest or anything like that. I'm just trying to stand up naturally, straight. How I stand on like a in line at the store or something like that. Talking to people, hey man, how's it going, blah, 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 this and that. Uh, oh, if I'm driving, I do this. 
I tuck it. I tuck my shirt behind the gun and then my seatbelt goes over for you know, accessibility. But this is what it looks like. I move my belt buckle to the side and then the slide is essentially right in the middle at a slight cant. Now, I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but the clip right here, I have, for me, and it also depends on the jeans you're wearing or whatever pants you're wearing, my clip I put right next to my belt loop, right? And then that wing I got actually sits, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the wing I got actually goes underneath and right on the other side. So clip, loop, wing, perfect. So I don't know if you can actually see it showing up right there or not, but it's it's there. So that's what she looks like. Uh, just a, another Bravo concealment holster. I'm sure there's. I can't say that sure. I know there's a whole bunch of videos out there because I've watched a lot of them myself. So. I don't know what the audio is going to be from this way. I was wearing headphones for audio. Now I'm not. So there's that loud click. It's, it's very audible. <laughs> One of the loudest clicks I've ever heard. That probably has to go to, like I mentioned before, the fact that it's injection molded, more of a polymer plastic than uh, actual Kydex. But like I said, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking Bravo Concealment's uh, technology. I'm not knocking their torsion. Like I said, I love the torsion. I love the, the effect the torsion has. I've had people tell me, oh, the torsion effect is gimmicky and all this other fun stuff, or just they're not big fans. You can literally see it. <laughs> if you take another plain holster and put them side by side, you can see that one is symmetrical, one is not. And that asymmetricalness makes it, gives it the torsion effect. So I'm gonna put it back. This is just a rigorous belt, plain Jane. Nothing, you know, it's, it's, it's soft, right? So I'll put that right there. And I kind of force it at an angle. Boom. Now, like I said, sometimes I will, I, will, I will wear a small. So if I just kind of cinch this up a bit, For me, it works. I'm making this video more so as a quick review or hopefully a quick review and kind of to shed some light for taller people, six foot plus and skinny. I watch a lot of videos and most of these guys, and I'm not knocking them, a lot of these guys have a form of dad bod or a belly or something along the lines where they're not us, they're not skin and bone. Um, I'm thankful that my metabolism is high where I'm almost 30 years old and not falling apart. So I'm, I'm proud of that, but at the same time, it does come with its downsides to where you wanna carry a, a decent sized firearm. I used to carry the Glock 19. This is the Glock 48, like I mentioned before, and I could do it. I had this very similar setup in the past with their older model and it could be done but getting the slimmer model definitely helps. And with Shield Arms making a 15 round magazine, like I said, I don't own one yet, but I plan to. That's it, right there. Um, actually, just for video purposes, and hopefully I get that target of you know some skinny people, I'm gonna go throw on a slim uh, more slimmer shirt. Now, that being said, when I carry, I always have an undershirt. I don't care if it's 100 degrees out, sweating, <laughs> I'm wearing an undershirt. It's just the way I am. But let me go throw on something a little bit more slim fitting and we'll see how it looks. Like I said, small, right? This is an American Eagle small button up shirt. Um, it is a little bit of a slim fit, like a tailored fit.
Now, someone's probably going to point out the fact, oh, you're wearing plaid. Plaid breaks up lines and all that fun stuff. You're right, but I also like wearing plaid just in general, not really, uh, you know, short sleeve t-shirt, solid color kind of guy. I do like my solids, but most of them are long sleeve and kind of baggy, so. But when I wear something like this, it's plaid, nine times out of 10. There you are, right there. You might be able to see it a little bit because of my belt being pushed out, but I mean, like I said, <laughs> being a skinny mini, you can only do so much. Now, somebody that's shorter than I am, or just tiny, maybe you need a smaller gun. If you want a bigger gun, then you're gonna have to work around what you got. That's what I'm doing right now. Could I have gotten like the smaller version of this with a shorter barrel? I could have, but I liked the dimensions of this. I like the longer sight radius of this one. It works for me and I work around it. So, like I said, uh, something to point out, I think I mentioned it already, but just to touch up on it, the wing right here, I do not have that little nub on it that actually pushes up against your belt because when I did that, I bought the little kit off of Amazon, right? And it came with two. It came with like an extra large and normal size one, I guess, or small and regular, I don't know. Uh, I tried the big one, that was way too much. Uh, I tried the smaller one, it was not as much, but it was still bringing it in a little bit too hard. Um, standing, I was fine, but if I sat down, immediately I'd, I'd dig in right here. But taking it off, looking at it you'd be like that looks flat how is that doing anything for you it just is because what's happening is with my body curvature if i put this in here lined up so what's happening here is as my belt comes around, hits the, cl uh, the clip, that wing sticks out just a hair, maybe like that much, maybe like an inch, half an inch, give or take, sticks out just enough to where when my belt hits it and I tighten it, it brings it in even more without causing too much. So it's just that little bit of extra help. Like I said, Bravo Concealment does not offer one. I got mine off of Amazon, unfortunately for a ridiculous price of like $15 because it came with the whole kit. It was like the arm itself, the two, the, uh, the two spacers, all the screws. And when I say all the screws, it had like the small, medium and long ones, depending on what kind of holster you're going to be using. It came with like the little rubber pads and cushions. It came with the whole thing. And I still think it was a little bit much for you know, for being $15, but I got the whole kit, no big deal. I do wish Bravo at least offered it. Maybe in just their accessories page. Um, maybe not installing it for you, but it's like, oh, if you want one, you can add it to your order for like five bucks or something like that. And if someone says they're worth more than five bucks, um, guys, when people who make holsters and they buy these in bulk, they're buying them for like a dollar or less a piece. So you're more so paying for someone to put it on for you. So if they did it just for five bucks, they get a little bit of pro, uh, upcharge in there. I, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Um, so they can make some money off it, of course. But you know, it's just something that, to me personally, I like Bravo Consumer a lot for many reasons. I just wish they offered something like that. So that's my take on that. But again, this was probably not such a quick video, but I wanted to dive into body type and all that fun stuff. Cause like I said, a lot of people go and make videos and they're the dad bod or they got a little bit of, you know, heft to them. I don't have that. And I know there's a lot of people that also don't have that. And I don't really see videos geared towards them, unfortunately. So it's just something I'm trying to put out there. So hopefully everybody enjoyed the video. And you guys stay safe and have a great Memorial Day weekend.